So here we have Procatopus simulus. This is from Kumba. These fish originally came wild through uh, Aquatic Clarity, Jeff Michaels. You can just see the spectacular coloration of these fish. Blue on the body, red fins. You treat these guys just like rainbow fish. They'll lay their eggs, actually preferably in the, uh, they prefer the sponge filter here. And it's a schooling fish that lives in the rivers in West Africa, predominantly Cameroon, Gabon, Equatorial Guinea. And so you can keep these with community fish. And they work well with small Cynodonis, Pelvic Acromis, other dwarf cichlids. You can even keep them with smaller barbs. I'm going to keep it like a biotope. But yeah, these guys lay their eggs in these sponge filters. Just lay them on the surface. Let's see if we can find any eggs. I already pulled eggs once today, so we may not see any. They just like to find the crevices. Actually, there's one right there. Right where my index finger is. You can see the see the egg right there. Actually, there looks like there's another one around the corner here. So, yep, there's another egg right there. So these guys just lay the, the egg on the surface of the sponge and then you just pull them. And what I do is I pull them to a little deli cup container. I pull water from the tank. These little deli cup containers. A couple of the guys in Pittsburgh turn me onto these. Just make sure you label the the bottom and I, I label the top too just in case I misplace. But yeah, I see the eggs on the bottom here. I'm just developing. Some are further along than others. There's a whole bunch of them in here now. There's probably 30 eggs in here. But yeah, as soon as they hatch, look like little silvers of glass. Just take a pipe bed or a turkey baster and then I move them to a, a two gallon. Here you can see my rack but of tanks. These are twos. Here we have Procatopus nodotania. And you can see the coloration coming in on the males. The females remain silver in color. Now these are what are called lamp eye killifish, which in all actuality they're not really killifish. They're more closely related to live bears. You can just see the color coming out. These fish are half inch to three quarters of an inch and they already have a ton of color. Again, a schooling fish. So there's no reason why you can't keep like a dozen together in a you know, 20 long or a 30 gallon or even larger. But these I'm just raising up. These will be available next, well, probably either the end of this year or early next year. So my goal is to raise a whole bunch of these up and make them available. Tank bread. So very, very neat fish. Again, these are Procatopus. I'll show some additional videos in the future of some other lamp eyes, but just to get us started. Thought I'd show you a couple things.